one. The White House announced Tom Bossett resignation. Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders released a statement on April 10 shockingly announcing that Tom Bossett, 43, was stepping down from his role as National Security Advisor. Per the White House, the President is grateful for Tom's commitment to the safety and security of our great country. Tom led the White House's efforts to protect the homeland from terrorist threats, strengthen our cyber defenses, and respond to an unprecedented series of natural disasters. President Donald Trump thanks him for his patriotic service and wishes him well. 2. The White House did not give a reason for Bossert's departure. The White House's statement on Bossert's sudden resignation did not say why he was leaving. He becomes one of the dozens of senior officials in the Trump administration to resign since the president's 2017 inauguration. In just the past two months, the following people have resigned, Hope Hicks, Josh Raffel, John McKenty, Rob Porter, Gary Cohen, Rex Tillerson, Steve Goldstein, David Shulkin, H.R. McMaster, and Michael Anton. 3. But, John Bolton reportedly wanted him out. Bossett was reportedly pressured to resign, per White House sources, at the urging of new National Security Advisor John Bolton. While considered successful in his position, Bossett competed with his colleague, former National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster, who only resigned about a month ago. Bolton just became a national advisor on April 9, the day before Bossett resigned. Bolton is reportedly expected to purge the National Security Council and bring in his own staff to oust any possible leakers. National Security Council spokesman Michael Anton, suspected of leaking information to the press, only just announced his own resignation on April 9, reportedly demanded by Bolton. For it's unclear when Bossett's resignation will take effect or if it already has. The only information the White House has provided on the matter is Huckabee Sanders' statement. Bossett has yet to speak on the matter, 5. He was just doing the TV rounds on April 8. Fueling the theory that Bossett was allegedly pressured into resigning is the fact that he was just speaking about national security measures and the border wall on Sunday, April 8. That's two days before his resignation announcement.